Oh, let's see. Is it going to work? There we go. Happy Monday, scholars. So excited to finish our last week together. Can you believe how quickly this has gone by? In just one week, you'll be on summer vacation and you'll be fifth graders. I can't believe it. And I couldn't think of a better way to end our week um, by talking a little bit about poetry. Um, we've done a lot of grammar, we've done a lot of informational text, but I'm really excited to have our last week diving into some narrative text because I think it is like the most interesting and the most fun to learn about. So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about poetry. Our essential question for this week is really going to be asking how do we read and annotate a poem using story? So we know that when we have like a narrative story, it really flows and makes sense to use a story organizer. Today, we're going to continue talking about reading a piece of poetry and determining the best way to annotate um, for important parts of the poem. We know that annotating a text, regardless of whether it is a poem, a short story, an informational text, we know that reading and annotating then allows us to really dive deeper into the questions that are going to be asked of us later on in the text. So the more we read, the more we annotate, the more we understand, and the more we know, so the more prepared we are to answer those questions. Our agenda for today is going to be a quick lesson overview. We're going to do a little bit of a skill review, um, do some oral drill questions around poetry, and then talk about story organizers of poetry. You'll listen to Mrs. Lardner read through a poem and model how I would fill out my graphic organizer. And then we'll answer some questions together, and then you will answer some questions on your own. The secret word today is zebra. The secret word is zebra. And if we can get 90% of scholars to complete this assignment, I will upload, I think, kind of a funny TikTok that I made. Um, but you'll only get to see that if 90% of you complete the assignment today. So the secret word is zebra. You know what to do. Go ahead and scroll on down. You're going to answer the questions in your Google form. Click next, and then I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.